There's no better feeling than when you're stuck in a corner, surrounded by monsters on all sides, and you've just completely ran out of bullets. We work ourselves into this anxious flurry, struggling for control. Over work, money, health, whatever. Carving out our own little patch of dirt that we think will be here forever. Just like how we think we'll be here forever. But sometimes life feels like a toddler who just jumped out of the bathtub and is now running all over the house. They're out of control, completely vulnerable, and impossible to catch. Because they're covered in soap. There's a relief in dying. Virtually, of course. Game over again, and again, and again. All that pent-up tension and anxiety just diffuses like ink and water. Survival horror games work because there's a catharsis in knowing that things are supposed to be going wrong. You're not paralyzed with fear waiting for the other shoe to drop. It's already dropped. You don't have to worry about social anxiety or arguments with your spouse. You just have a rusty pipe. You have an energy drink, and you have to get to the other side of the mutated orphanage before something eats your face. It's kind of like meditation. I feel paralyzed with anxiety, I might meditate with a game like Silent Hill. It's a chilling game. It's childlike, knife-wielding demons made me see monsters in the shadows of my bedroom when I was a kid. And weirdly enough, the game left me with a totally irrational fear of old keys. In spite of all the psychological scars the game left on me, I find it intensely comforting. There's an abstract quality to Silent Hill that makes it feel like Kabuki. The boy composes his death poem. Stiff, ritualistic movements. Impressionistic sound design. Smeared textures that seem to suggest reality, rather than recreate it. Because the whole experience feels distant and choreographed, for me it becomes like a piece of trauma theater. A virtual world where I can cope with my demons and bask in nostalgia all at once. From what I can tell, something bizarre is going on. Like the fog that covers the titular town, there's a profound loneliness that enshrouds the game. The lifeless voice acting compounds your feeling of isolation. My daughter, I've got to find her. And the surface world of daylight normalcy feels empty and hollowed out. Only in the game's moments of terrifying combat is there any sense of vibrant life. If spirituality means a sense of purpose, then in its most disturbing moments, Silent Hill is a spiritual game. But when the combat is over and the adrenaline fades, you're just left with a sinking feeling. Like, what was I clawing my way toward? Back into safety, you find yourself in a faded and depressed world. You can't help but having the urge to go back into the shadows where something might be waiting. <laughs>